Okay, they're the friends, my friend Fox. I have realized that uh, all my talks of philosophy, religion, history, contemporary issues, they do not generate as much of laughter and interest among them besides the sexual jokes or the adult jokes or anything related to sex. So I thought today morning I must put every uh, their curiosity to sex uh, to absolute rest and talk to you all everything about sex. My friends, as a, a man gets older, I've been telling earlier, his uh, uh, sexual instincts travel from his groins to his head. What he wanted to do in his younger days, I suppose, but did not do it because of many reasons like nervousness, lack of response or opportunity, he does it in his mind. If you ask me really, what's more important, sex or romance? I will, without giving a second uh, thought of wasting a, a minute, a second, I would say it's simply the sex and nothing else. I'm convinced that romance is just the gloss, some sort of sheen that wears off and it loses its lustre very soon. I have uh, nev uh, never really had the time nor the inclination for romance. Romantic uh, interludes uh, takes up lots of time my friend and uh, I feel the sheer waste of energy and time. For almost in every case you ask any romantic uh, couple or your own experience of romance for the end result uh, isn't very much. Sex is definitely more important although the sex with the same person can get boring after a while. You know it becomes a routine and routine seldom generate interest. Here he but basically I'm telling your partner once bedded becomes a bore even the best looking man or a woman becomes boring this is not my statement it is the Sherry Height report says the same thing the world's best uh, sexual psychoanalysis the Sigmund Freud has uh, repeats his view of the Sherry Heights and almost all psycho, uh, uh, sex, sex psycho analysis, uh, uh, analysts have the similar view. When it comes to sex, my friend, I don't think looks either uh, matter. Uh, it looks matter much. No, I know men, even and myself. We had many women friends, and 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 I also keep in touch with those who have made. Uh, uh, those my friends who have made love in the love to uh, their girlfriends in the past and I share, share their experiences also when I am talking besides reading as far as I am concerned I can't stand a woman who are not uh, who are not animated she could be the most beautiful woman but if she is not lively then as far as I am concerned there is just no point I've been with many uh, women over the years and I've never worried about uh, uh, looks very much. Even the, all the psychoanalysis uh, uh, share this view and when I talk to my friends they also share the similar view uh, that the men they are never worried about any infections or sexually transmitted diseases. 
they don't think of all these while making love you just go for it once it's up it has to go in there there is no other way and no other explanation i feel that these kinds of experience they contribute uh, if you are an author or a writer uh, to reflect on your writer uh, on your writings more practically and more realistically these experiences these affair even they all these affairs they are very good while they lasted but then one moves on without any unpleasantness uh, uh, at all you just drift apart and the instances there where the women have uh, persisted uh, i have seen men withdrawing after a point and sometime it becomes acrimonious that is bad everybody wants their space uh, they never want anyone to get too close to uh, anyone emotionally we must respect and value each other's space uh, and i uh, i certainly value my space and have guarded because uh, guarded it very uh, seriously therefore i think i do not have had or never had any close friends or deep emotional relationships as for my passion writing it is also a solitary task and i am more comfortable being alone so i move on i have been like this all my life another misconceptions people carry about the women of different state a different religion different nationality let me tell you my friends irrespective of her any ladies religion color caste nationality region they are all same in the bed foreigners i suppose don't make love differently their attitude towards love love making might be different after all those notions about these uh, keep reading in a book or some magazine that french being great lovers or the english women are frigid they are all nonsensical myths they are as uh, men and a woman like you and me everybody is same under the skin nationalities even religious backgrounds your faith your belief systems makes no difference at all it is the desire my friend the intensity that's important there has to be uh, that attraction of course there could be uh, problems if one of the uh, uh, partner has an insatiable appetite and the other has uh, a little interest in sex yes this can also happen but as far as i am concerned my friend i have never been in this uh, situation like this so i never had uh, really had any awkward moment so far and i said all i like nationality your religious background size also doesn't matter either whether it's a size uh, whether it's the size of the penis or that of the breast whether the lips are full or thin or dried it, none of these things matter at all there i repeat there has to be desire on both sides and reciprocation of feelings is important and there should not be any suppression or holding back for if you hold uh, withhold your uh, urges it will come out in some other form there is bound to be uh, some aberration my friend there is far too much uh, Uh, in my country i feel that there is far too much sexual frustration in our country and this and this probably explains the rapes and the molestations we hear about every other day now and then they happen 
in other countries too but in India it seems to be a problem now more than ever before and it's uh, I, uh, I am convinced that links to sexual repression and our hypocrisy and nothing else we Indians are very interested in sex we have the curiosity and the drive but we pretend to be prudish and conservative ultimately I say uh, another uh, I share another observation with you my friends I don't think it's only the men who seduce but now I find that women are often better at the art of seduction more than me trying to seduce women uh, it's women who have been trying uh, seducing me all these years when I have been attracted to someone I have little confidence my friend in expressing myself <laughs> and let me tell you I write in my book the bachelor's handbook okay after years later when I happen to uh, talk to them or tell them how I had you know, felt uh, several how I had felt that time to several of the ladies most of them they exclaimed Zahid why the hell you didn't tell you uh, tell this to me before each time I've had a woman make a pass at me I have felt flattened totally flattered and I have reciprocated looking back my friends I wish I have had the confidence to make the first move but I had never it's a wonderful experience you all have the similar experience maybe but uh, you cannot talk or they express the way I said it but this is all and everything about sex nothing uh, sacrosanct or uh, clandestine about it we tend to enjoy these jokes and talk simply because we do not get an opportunity to talk to uh, people openly thank you very much